Welcome to this uh, video. If you are between a MacBook and a Windows computer, hopefully this video can help you. Well, this is the uh, Dell XPS 13 Plus, and here's the uh, MacBook Air with the M2 processor. Uh, the Dell, it's a little bit smaller, but they weight about the same. It's about 2.7 pounds. The Dell has a touch screen. The MacBook doesn't have that. As far as uh, the ports, uh, the MacBook offers a 3.5 millimeter audio jack on one side. On the other side, two USB type C uh, ports. Uh, the, ba the bottom part of the MacBook looks like this. It doesn't have any air vents. And uh, we have on the top the Apple logo. And as far as uh, the front of the, the laptop, this is how the keyboard looks like. And we have the trackpad right there, pretty good size. Uh, this uh, year, they changed the trackpad, so there's no separation there uh, between the trackpad and the rest of the bottom part, which I do have to tell you that I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, many times uh, my fingers were like outside of the uh, trackpad area. So a lot of the time when I was trying to do something, it was not doing it because my fingers were clicking on the outside area of the mouse uh, track. So just to keep that in mind. Also, I believe this uh, laptop is offered in a, like a dark gray color. I would highly recommend going with that color because this is kind of like a white silver color and it's hard to see the keys uh, during the day. Uh, but the keys are also really close to each other. Uh, with the MacBook, uh, the keys are a little more uh, separated, so it's uh, probably easier to type uh, without uh, clicking on the uh, wrong key. As far as the ports on the Dell, uh, we have USB Type-C port on one side and USB Type-C port on the other side. Uh, speakers uh, on the side of the uh, laptop, air vents uh, right here. Uh, this is how it looks like on the bottom and we have the Dell logo on the top of the laptop. Both computers offer a fingerprint scanner. Here's on the MacBook the screen, unlock it. So offers a uh, Windows uh, Halo, I believe, uh, or face uh, scanning. And so there's a face scanning with Windows. In my opinion, I don't know, it takes a little too long. I'm not a big fan. Let's try now the fingerprint scanner. Okay, so as far as the price and the specs on these computers, uh, the Dell, when it came out, it was uh, $1,649.99. Um, it got discounted to $1,300. And this uh, model is available right now for $616. The MacBook started at uh, $1,400. And I also found an open box here at Best Buy. Uh, for about $800. So the specs on the uh, Dell, uh, we have the Intel 12th generation Core i7 EVO platform with the 16 gigabyte of RAM and the graphics are integrated, now dedicated Intel Iris XE graphics. The screen size is at 13.4 inches and this particular model has a resolution of 1920 by 1200. So it's a little bit less resolution than another model that is a little more expensive. And this one also comes with the 512 gigabyte of internal storage. Uh, as far as the MacBook, uh, we have the M2 processor, uh, 8 gigabyte of RAM with the Apple M2 10 cores uh, graphic card. Uh, screen size is 13.6 inches and the resolution of the MacBook it's a little bit higher than the Dell with 2560 by 1664. Okay, so right now we'd like to show you this uh, browsing test. It's called Speedometer 2.0. I have the Dell running in the uh, high performance mode. Uh, they're both running on battery. They both were charged to 100%, so at the end of the video, I will tell you uh, what's the percentage of uh, the battery of each machine. So, Okay, so here are the results of this uh, speedometer test. And as you can see, the uh, MacBook is uh, way more uh, powerful when it comes to web browsing. So now I'm going to run the uh, benchmarking test uh, with the uh, Geekbench uh, 6 on both computers. Um, I'm gonna run first the uh, CPU test. So let's go ahead and start here with uh, both. 
and on the uh, single core on the Dell we have uh, 1,989 points on the single core on the MacBook we have 2,620 multi-core on the Dell 8,503 points multi-core on the MacBook 9,896 points I'm going to run the uh, GPU test on both computers and let's go ahead and start at the same time here okay so I have the results here and the uh, Dell got 16,158 points the MacBook got 27,946 points okay so now I'm gonna play some uh, YouTube videos in 4k 60 resolution this is the same video on both uh, computers and I believe the brightness on both it's about the same I think it's about 50% on both uh, one of the things that I noticed right away is that the contrast and saturation on the Dell it's a little bit stronger um, I wouldn't necessarily say that it looks better uh, it's probably a matter of preference but uh, as far as like the picture quality both computers looks really really good the resolution of both of the screen is very very close now this is the audio test I'm gonna play a uh, back and forth uh, the Dell and the MacBook same uh, video same audio so here we go I'm not sure if you can tell, but I can tell you for a fact, the speakers on the uh, Dell are better. They sound louder. Okay, so now I'm gonna test the performance of these uh, computers side by side using the uh, CapCut uh, video editor. And these videos are in 4K 60, uh, recorded with an iPhone uh, 14 Pro Max. And let's also scroll up and down through the timeline and as you can see no problem at all it scrolls uh, up and down uh, really easy now keep in mind that I'm using proxies thing here on the Mac I'm also using proxies so the deal it's done editing the video and uh, it took 11 minutes and 28 seconds the MacBook it's still editing and it's at 62%. Now I will tell you, I remember doing this test before with other Windows computers with the Intel Iris uh, XE graphics uh, versus the first uh, MacBook M1 processor. They all, for some reason, they all finish or can do the editing faster than the MacBook when it's just a simple, plain timeline. So I'm gonna stop here the MacBook and let's repeat the test but this time let's add some uh, b-roll and some uh, color filters uh, this one okay this one here And I can tell you, I'm, I'm struggling. I'm struggling to make sure that my hands are on the right spot here when it comes to the trackpad. Okay, so we're gonna add the same one here, another one, and a fourth. And see, with the MacBook, it's so easy to uh, use the trackpad. Okay, so let's go ahead and export uh, the project and you're gonna see how the deal is gonna take way way longer all right friends uh, so the MacBook it's about to be done and uh, the deal it's still at 46 percent the MacBook just uh, got done editing and the MacBook took 70 minutes and 47 seconds now this uh, last test here is to uh, measure the speed of the write and read of the uh, hard drives on both computers. Same program, so let's go ahead and start here with both. 
Okay, so we have the results. Uh, the right speed on the MacBook, it's uh, 3,436. The right speed on the Dell, it's uh, 1,571 points. So the right speed on the MacBook, it's pretty much more than double the speed. The uh, read speed on the MacBook is 2,430 points. On the Dell, it's uh, 3,174 points. So the, so the last thing I wanna show you is the battery percentage. As you can see here on the Dell, we have 62% remaining. And as you can see here on the MacBook, we have 88% battery remaining. I would highly recommend the MacBook over the Dell. Uh, the Dell can do the job when it comes to gaming and video editing, but just something light. If you're gonna uh, play high graphic games uh, or uh, if you're gonna edit a project that is complicated, uh, either you're gonna be disappointed or you're gonna have to wait until the project takes uh, longer. Uh, with the MacBook, uh, you get better battery life, better performance, uh, the only thing that I found better on the deal was the speakers. But just for the speakers alone, I will not just buy the deal. Altogether, I believe the MacBook Air with the M2 processor is a better buy, better computer for about the same price right now. So if you enjoyed this video, please uh, give me a like, subscribe for more, and I will see you later.